Hello everyone, back, welcome back to my channel. This is Trisha Career Minds Creations and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my uh, memory dex cards um, that I'm going to be using on my newly constructed memory deck spinner that I showed a couple of days ago um, here on my YouTube channel. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial on this on my live uh, Wednesday uh, chat here on YouTube. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but if I do, I'm going to decide between now and tomorrow. And I will uh, post information about that. If I do decide that, I'm going to give you all the information you're going to need or the list of materials and tools that you're going to need to make that. Okay, but today I'm going to show you how to make how I make my memory desk cards. I'm, I, I made some, but I did make the lines on the back on, but I'm going to do that now. And so I got some 4x6 uh, uh, index cards and I because I have this piece of uh, Halloween paper out I'm going to go ahead and make one out of this and I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to four by four I probably shouldn't have done this but cut it down to four by four And I'm also going to be using my proper dowel and my envelope punch board by Memory Ground Memory Keepers. Alright, so before we do that though, I'm going to take a 4x6 uh, in this card. I'm going to glue this to the back with the lines up, of course. And I'm just going to go ahead and just use my zig stick because it's just... What it, that's close for me to reach for. Let's make sure I got it on, on the edges because we don't want that coming off. And then I'm going to line that up. Oops. I might have to because this it dries kind of fast on paper. So I'm going to go ahead and that's down on all edges and then I'm going to cut this down you could use scissors but I'm going to go ahead and use my my uh, trimmer to cut this off let's see because I probably should have went next time I'm going to it's slightly smaller than four now but anyway so that's the back now um I'm going to show you when you're making uh, pattern papers like this. Now, when you do it on solid paper like this, then it doesn't matter which side you put this on because it's gonna you can flip it and it can be either side. And I thought I had another one right here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. A black one where this tab is on the other side. But so, um, I'm gonna make a number of these. I'll show you what's the difference. Okay, so first. It's, uh, to get this to we're gonna punch it to make the tab on this side we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna go all the way over to four over to four inches um, it's just a bit easier than just to try to line it little thing the line it to paper with the little cutter under there and so it's like that so then we're gonna put it back in there and we're gonna go to four there you have that and then, well, Pick it up. It's mommy on the phone. Pick it up. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had the call come in from my mom and dad, so they wanted to interrupt me. I had to take that call. All right, so, um, I was going to pull out another piece of paper. I want you to go and do another one. Okay, so, um, I got the paper on the back of this, and now we're going to cut this off. I need and you can use a trimmer which you know I'm gonna show you how to do trimmer because I'm pretty sure all y'all seen how it's done with a um, blade and a ruler I haven't used my trimmer my little trimmer in a while so I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna put this in here line it up to the line 
cut that off just like that. All right. Now, then we're gonna bring back in our uh, put you on You don't have to cut off the corners if you don't want to. Now, of course, if you don't have um a memory punch board or a uh. corner trumper thing you can just um use your scissors all right so that's that now for the bottom for the holes we're going to center one right on the back we're going to center this so I'm gonna put this right in the center I'm do this way and this is four by four so we're going to center this and I'm going to put this right here center it so this is the center and where's my pencil center it. I'm going to put a half inch away from each side because it um, the uh, inch apart just little notches we can put that out. And then we're going I'm going to go up because my Rolodex I checked it it's uh, 3 inches I think from the edge so I'm just going to put a, like a light line right across there Or you can um, just measure. You know, I'm going to use the biggest hole on my um, my crapper dowel, and I got it to the fifth notch on here. See this right here? You can move this back and forth and get your where you want your paper to go. I mean, how far you back want your the edge? You know, you know. I know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to put this back to the fifth line. The fifth little notch. One, two, three, four, five. Let me think of this fifth one. One, two, three. Yes, the fifth one back. So it's the. Then we're gonna tighten this up. And then I'm just gonna go in, kind of like out, go in from where the notch is. And it should be right at the. Well, actually. No, it's not the top. Let me see. Because the thing about it is, is that because I cut this on my um, and this is not even, and this is not right. I don't know what's going on. I measured it a while ago, and it was lined up. Measure this because I just did this on my thing. I know it's right because I did it on my um cricket and it's at an inch on each side. Yep, okay, let's do this again. getting on backwards y'all sorry okay we're gonna put this back even it up half inch we're not even gonna go this okay then I'm going to again I got it at the fifth notch on the side of my uh, proper dial okay you can if you kind of tilt it back like this you can see that little mark that you made and you're going to send it right to the middle of the uh, where you're going to punch. There you go. And then you're going to get your scissors. I just had everything. It is, everything is, I got to clean off my desk. This desk is a little bit junky. This is about the only part of my crafting that does get junky or a little bit out of whack. You'll probably cut this little notches too big, but then just cut your little notches out, and there you have it. I'm gonna see if this fits on here. Yeah. And there you have it. I think these holes need to be a little bit bigger. Now, if you got a um, 
a hole punch and that'll work even better because even when I use the big holes yeah I use the biggest hole on here the 3 8 inch hole no 3 16 hole on here it's not big enough so I'm gonna go over just a little bit to yeah it's not gonna work okay anyway so that's how you make that that's the back of it now I'm going to show you how to make one foot tab on the other side. Now again, if you're just using, a, you know, card stock like this and you don't need to um, flip it, you just, uh, I mean, cut it on a different side, you just need to flip it. Alright, so I'm going to get another card and I was pulling out some paper. That's why I got this. Um, I mean, this might work too. I'll just cut another one of these. Yeah, this time I'm just going to go ahead cut this down to four inches, four by four. Actually, this piece is a little bit four, but it's, it's four this way, but it's a little bit more this way. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Where's my zig? You can use, you know what, I'm going to use my, um, that on it because I'm gonna I don't know how far it's gonna come up from the edge. Oh, I might take I'm gonna put some more in there. Okay. It's uh, gonna I'm just make sure you know it's good edge. Alright. And I'm just gonna glue this down. Cut the, this is four by four, four inches already up and down this way. I'll cut this four by four, four inches this way. Okay, so I got that four by four, and then this time, because we want the tab to be on this side, we're going to again. This time we're, good. we're not going to flip it over. I'm just going to leave it on this side. And we're going to put the mark over here at four. Chop that in. And then move it over to two. And then, see? Now we have it on the opposite side. And then we're going to cut this off again. This time I'm going to use my ruler and my X Acto. See, this is when I, I got, you don't want to see this mess. Uh, I'm going to plan on doing a video today. I decided to get up and do it because um, I was on Facebook. And we, um, uh, some of us are talking about making uh, the memory cards, per se, the memory desk cards. And I said, I uh, mentioned down there that I was going ahead and I might do a tutorial day so. I just gotta get her and do it. And then we're just gonna chomp all the edges. And then, just like this one, so now we got on the opposite side. And again, we're going to break in our ruler, measure it up on the sides, put it in the center. Mark it a quarter inch from the center. I mean, a half inch from the center. Again, use our crocodile, and we're going to chop right there. We mark those at. And then scissors. Just take 
take out a little notch. And there you have that. So there you have that from this side. Now I'm going to show you how to do one when you want to make a tab for in the middle. I like this one. So I'm going to get another 4 by 6 in this card. And let's see, let's pull up one of these. This is a paper pad that I got. Did I buy this or did somebody send this to me in a swap? I can't remember. No, I think somebody sent me this pad. Was it C? I can't remember. Mm, let's see. What do I want to do? Where well, I did pumpkins. I don't want to do pumpkins again. Let's see. Let's try this one. Let's do this one. Because I want to do some memory um, memory decks art cards. I'm going to do like I do, like I used to do. ATCs, which I'm going to get back to. So, I'm going to... Six is, six, is six. I'm going to use my zig because I'm going to cut it down and I want it to cut full coverage. So I'm not going to use my tape anyway because it's out. For six. I'm cutting it anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this down to 4x4. Four four. Four by four piece. Oh, I gotta put my lid back on this one. Okay. Now, on this one, we're gonna put it at one. Oh. Put this edge at one. Then we're gonna move it over and then punch at three. Okay, so just start at three. And it's gonna look like that. I think I'm gonna do this again on my. Trimmer. I'm going to line this up. Line up the Get my blade back on there. Was that stupid? Something sticky on here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna line this up like that the cut line. And then lift it and come it this way. And there you have that. I'm cut it down a little bit more. Not exactly sure. Like I said, oh, you can just do it with scissors. You don't need to use your um, trimmer if you don't have one. Or yeah, so it's going to look like that. Now, believe it or not, you can do all four corner punch trim off, uh, run all four corners on the memory board. I'm going to do the bottom because, and then you just take it in there. Put in there and lift this up so this tab is over this part right here let's lift that up and stick it in there and it'll punch i'm just gonna you can do the same thing on the other side or you can just flip it over just put it in there lift the tab up and stick it in there and punch and there you have that okay now again on the back we're going to find the center pencil Mark a half inch from the center on each side. And then again, you're going to get your crocodile or your whatever you have. 
paper punch. Line it up, punch. Ugh, it'll come out. And line it up and punch. Your scissors. Let's cut out a little notch. And there you have it. So now, when you want to these, or you know, we can decorate the front and put information on the back. Or what do you want to do it on the back? Or you can decorate both sides. You don't have to put the lines on the back. But yeah. So, and that is how you do the tabs for left, right, and in the middle. There we have it, guys. So again, thanks for watching. Hope this helps anybody. I know there's other tutorials out there, but you know, there's you can have never have too many tutorials on how to do one thing. So I decided to go ahead and share mine. Uh, well, how I did it. Now, I do have uh, a file that I made on my Cricut. I did the same thing because before I realized that I had, I forgot my my cover down to punch the holes. That was the only reason at the time why I went online uh, on Cricut Design Space to make my own on my Cricut. Okay, so I I made two of these and. I um I gotta show you another tool that I have the how I got these on there into my Cricut. Um I didn't I, I used a scanner but it's my I'm gonna show you. I used the scan tool. I scan one my I'm gonna show you how to use this thing. I love it. Um but it's a portable scanner. I can put the paper in here, measure, lift my paper in here, I can, you know, all the way down. But most of the time, I pop this out, and I can use this, and I just turn it on. I press scan, roll it down, stop to scan it, and it's in like a it's in a little memory card in here. And I uh, on my computer, uploaded it uh, in Cricut, and I uh, put my holes in that way. And so that's how I did that. And like I said, when I scanned this, I scanned this one twice. I scanned it one way with the tab on this side, then I flipped it and I scanned it with the tab on that side. And I made this. And so that's how I made my templates for these in Cricut. Now, I will, if anybody that wants to know or wants to template for this, I can share the link. And anybody that has a Cricut or can get to Design Space, they can use this template if they want. So I will put the link for this in the description box uh, for this template. All three of them are in there. If anybody wants to uh, use my template um, with their Cricut. So that's that guys. So again, I'd like to thank y'all for watching, subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, a little bell to let you know when I'm uh, active on YouTube. Um, when I started doing live videos and all that and uploading new videos and all of that and all that stuff. But yeah, um, like, subscribe, and uh, comment on my channel. And I'd like to thank you all for all my new subscribers who recently subscribed. Thank you so much for that. God, I got a headache, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm getting lost for words. But I, this is done. So, if I, anybody has any suggestions or anything else they want to see, just let me know. But again, I think I'm going to be doing my live video this Wednesday on um, the tutorial. I was going to do it. I'm going to do tutorials, but I think I'm going to do the, the tutorial live this Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. Again, if I decide between now and then, I will, um, so there you go, guys. Again, y'all have a crafty day, and talk to you later. Bye.